Good morning, everyone. It is Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and today I am bringing you Leadership Pasco. Well, it's one day of Leadership Pasco. It is the Criminal Justice Day for Leadership Pasco. So, just to break down what that is for you, um, a group of individuals, they're actually over there behind that car, um, from all over the county, um, different sort of county workers, um, they apply to be a part of Leadership Pasco. So, one day a month, they spend the entire day with a different sort of organization. So like today is Criminal Justice Day, so they're with PSO. They have Education Day, so they spend it with the schools. They have a county day, so it's all a little bit different, um, but they all do different sort of things to learn about the county. So it's, they apply and then they are selected. There were 32 that were selected this year for the, the year long class. Um, and I also know that throughout that time, as a group, they have to do a charity project, basically. They have to raise the money and they have to do the hands-on work to facilitate and see this project through. What I've learned is that they use Taste of Pasco for our local followers. You might have already gone to a Taste of Pasco and you know that all of the money that's raised for Taste of Pasco is used for a charity event. So most of the time they raise between twenty to thirty thousand dollars from that. They take that money and they go and they see their project through. So I know last year they pulled up and recarpeted all of the carpet of all of the Metropolitan Ministries building. Um, two years ago they built a playground out in Date City. Um, three years ago, they got the money to build one of the canine buildings that's back there in that corner right there. So it's all a little bit different, but it's really cool. So it's all day long. Um, they're going to be going through a SWAT demonstration, which I can't show you guys that. Um, they're gonna be looking at all the utility vehicles. They're gonna be learning a lot. It's a really interesting day for all of them, but it's just a way for them to master and hone in on their leadership skills. So we're gonna see what we can get into today. It's muggy, but at least it's not raining. So stay tuned. I need the B-roll, I need the B-roll. Oh, that's sweet face. How many of you have done a ride along? Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. This is great. Please just answer some questions. We'll answer. We want to get you involved. We want you to know what we do um, because it's important. Out in the community, you know, you know there's people who say, why? Why do you do this? And the one thing we always talk about is transparency. Whether it's with our body worn cameras or our policies, why we do what we do. Uh, with JR, but 
But um, but so what we have for you here today, we have a canine demo. We have Deputy Chris Stone. We have canine JR, who is a two-year-old um, Mal and Shepherd mix. And then we have Sergeant Ben Burge, who is one of our two sergeants of our canine unit. Sergeant Burge has a nice sleeve here and is going to show you uh, what, what JR can do. And we're, we're basically going to give you guys just a basic, just a taste of what these dogs are capable of. Um, I, I can tell you from experience in this unit for a very short amount of time. vastness and, and the size of what we're talking about in terms of a facility. Uh, over here is the current, get many of our reports because of fantastic people like yourselves that are concerned enough to make that phone call. Okay, everyone. So that concludes and wraps up Leadership Pasco Criminal Justice Day 2018. Let me tell you, it has been a very, very entertaining day. There was a lot of information that was thrown at all of these individuals. I enjoyed it from you know my side of it and luckily I was chosen to be a part of it next year which is really really cool but uh, there were some scenarios that were done there was a lot of uh, <laughs> you know you just want to wave and be in the video so I was gonna bomb it but then I saw you talking to yourself just know that there was a lot of really interesting stuff I didn't get to show a lot of it in detail because I didn't want to spoil a lot for those that are gonna be um, participating next year, but I will also be here next year. It's a 12 month process, one day a month um, for Criminal Justice Day. Um, I'm gonna be doing all of them because I'm actually going to attend Leadership Pasco myself, but it's gonna be a really interesting, fun thing. Um, today was really, really interesting. My favorite part obviously was getting to play a reporter um, with a like mock scenario and they were split up into groups and they had like a PIO and like different like roles that were played and everything. And it was just really fun because we, uh, made one of the PIOs quit. She, one of, she's the wife of one of our majors and she quit. <laughs> it was great. At one point she was just like, because we suck, I quit. And, uh, but it was great. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the day. They did a, a, a lot. Uh, it's a really cool thing though, Leadership Basco. And the sheriff is really big on this. And it was really cool to see all of our command staff here all day long interacting with everyone. But uh, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.